Alright, hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband Parisno. If you have never played it, this is a total overhaul for Mountain Blade Warband that uh, brings an entire new fantasy universe where you can play as different races and explore an entirely new world. It's one of the best mods for Mountain Blade Warband and it's been updated a lot by the creators uh, over the years. And we're just going to get started, and we're going to be starting a new playthrough as a dwarf. The goal for this playthrough is to only use dwarf troops, and to expand the dwarven empire across the entire land of Parisno. And I'm gonna have a few more rules, but we're gonna get into that after we create our character, and then once we start going. And... This is just something I've been meaning to do for a while. I don't think I've seen anyone do a Dwarves only playthrough yet, so I figure we're gonna just jump into it. <clears throat> Alright, welcome to Prisno, a land where Nephali and giants roam in the ancient moors and forests. Dwarves craft great works in their mountain strongholds, and men form mighty empires. The ancient kingdoms have all but fallen, but Climorian forces are still lurking in the shadows. They watch, waiting for any signs of the old kingdom of Prisno to return once again. Will you be the one who restores the ancient kingdom to its former glory? Will you build a new empire atop its ruins? Be wary, hero. There is danger at every turn. So we're just gonna hop into this and uh, let's start. We're gonna we're gonna be a man. We're gonna be playing as a dwarf and our background here. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna be going for like sort of a crossbow, a shield, and one-hander build at least to start. So. Our father was a hunter, and we enjoyed shooting our crossbow. Our first adult job, we were a bounty hunter. And then, we started adventuring because of a strange accident. Something very bad happened, some thieves made off with all of our gold, we have nothing... No gold to start, to start with. We're gonna have to really just go from rock bottom, and there's only room to improve, basically. Um, so let's review our story. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was a hunter. You were the son of a family who lived off the woods, doing whatever they needed to make ends meet. Hunting, woodcutting, making arrows, even a spot of poaching whenever things got tight. Winter was never a good time for your family as the cold took animals and people alike, but you always lived to see another dawn, though your brothers and sisters might not have been so fortunate. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. As a boy, you particularly enjoyed shooting. You could spend hours shooting at targets and trying to hit the bullseye. Eventually, you became so good at it that even professional archers would regularly come and watch you practice, from time to time giving you helpful advice. Then, as a young adult, you became a bounty hunter. It became both your work and your hobby. First of all, you just liked capturing criminals and locking them up in prisons. At the same time, your good tracking skill got you a lot of money for a couple of difficult bounties. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you make this decision was an accident. One day you woke up naked in the middle of a rye field. You didn't have any of your equipment with you, nor memories of the past few days. Completely puzzled, you felt like you couldn't go on with your usual life and just had to try and find out anything about what happened with you. So you set out on a journey, and as a common man you may face some difficulties establishing yourself as an equal among Parisno's great lords. Looks like it cuts off there, but that's alright. Let's just get started here. Become an adventure and ride to your destiny. Alright, I'm gonna do allow me to quit without saving. And let's see here. Let's set let's put one point to each of these so we have nice even uh, fairly good spread of attributes here. And I literally went on fantasy name gen generators and looked up dwarven names, and this was the first name that came up. So we're gonna be Skadrick Mudbrew. That was the name I got when I went on the website, so we'll go with that. Now, let's see, let's get a point to Iron Flesh. And there's a little bit of changes to how the skills work in Perisno as opposed to Vanilla Warband. For example, Iron Flesh also reduces uh, damage by 3% for every point, rather than just giving you hit points, so it's a bit stronger. Um, we're gonna put some to Athletics and Shield, Power Strike, and Iron Flesh. And I don't think we're gonna actually do be doing much riding. I wanna do an on-foot build for this. So we'll see how this goes. 
Uh, what else? Let's get a point to leadership and let's get a point to trainer. So once we start hiring guys, they'll increase their rank more quickly. Alright, our crossbows is pretty good. Let's just start out by putting a bunch of points to one-handed weapons. And let's go. Alright, let's create our character here. Let's just hit randomize a few times. Uh, that's pretty solid, actually. Let's, uh... Yeah, I think that's good. Let's see. What should we do for the hair? I like the headbands. Alright, that's solid. Let's let's be this guy. This is Skadru... Skadric Mudbrew. Yeah, that's his name. And we're going to start at Dwalnor. You join a group of caravans crossing the scabrous plains beyond the southern mountains of Parisno. Eventually the group splits and you follow the traders venturing westward towards the barely visible but imposing range of mountains on the horizon. As the ground slopes up towards the peaks, the dunes of sand fall away and make way for a craggy landscape landscape of boulders and shrubs. The caravan slogs through the mountain pass, slowed by the persistent snow of last winter, and are greeted by the verdant dwarven highlands on the other side. You move through the countryside, encountering many great keeps of stone and dwarven mining expeditions headed back towards the mountains, and soon enough stumble upon a great city gate carved into the rock face, the dwarven town of Dwalnor. Approach Dwalnor. Alright. Okay, here we are. Uh, okay. Uh, the year is 395. Minor factions are running around looking for easy prey, or whatever. And here we are. Now let's take a look. We have absolutely nothing. We have no equipment to speak of, no money, and we are going to have to just get started here on our journey. So I think we're going to go into Dwalner, and our first stop will be at the arena. This is where we're going to start our journey, and let's talk to the tournament master. Good day, friend. If you came to watch tournaments, you came in vain. Tournaments, okay. Tell me about the melee fights. Can I join? Um, good. That's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to get started here in the arena. There's, we get cash prizes for uh, defeating enemies, and if we win the, uh, the the whole tournament, we get a thousand gold. So this is the only way that I can think of to start. So let's just get Waylon on these guys. It's kind of weird that the dwarven arena doesn't have any actual dwarves fighting in it. Like, it's just human enemies. But let's see if we can get the thousand gold here on the on our first try. Um, all right, let's just wail on this guy. Okay. Oh, someone's hitting us from behind. There we go. Okay. There we go. And uh, all right, let's see. We got eight so far. We gotta get through. 31 more. Okay, let's go. Let's go. What you got? There we go. You can't beat Skadric Mudbrew. And also, we get experience from uh, defeating these guys, so this is also good to just start leveling us up. Got more proficiency in one-handed there. And I really think that maybe eventually we'll go for two-handers, but to start, I... I think having a shield is going to be very useful, especially against archers, like right there. Exhibit A. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I want to fight and beat as many guys as I can, because it is possible to cheese these arena fights, but I'd rather get the experience. There we go. Come on. What you got? There we go. Oh. Alright, there we go. Sheesh! My shield is about to break. Yep, there it is. I'll probably take it from this guy if I beat him. But Archer is taking cheeky shots. Come on, can I pick up a shield, please? There we go. Got a new shield. Alright. Looking pretty badass, though, I gotta say. These puny humans are nothing compared to the badass dwarf that we are. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright. 
Looks like we're about halfway there. 19 opponents remaining. There we go. Oh, bro, took my shield off. Alright. Come on. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Another shield there. At least they weaken each other up. Alright, we're doing alright, but we're kind of running low on health now. So we gotta make every hit count. Oop. There's only six remaining. We might be able to do this. Okay. Oh, we're getting close here. Just three guys left. No, you don't. There we go. Kill the shield guy. There we go. Let's go. First try, we beat the arena. All right. Let's go talk to Tournament Master. We get 1,000 Aurums. Very good. 200 experience as well. Now we can afford to get hopefully something good. Now let's see, we could get... Let's see. I want to get a melee weapon to start with and then get this heavy militia hammer. And this is actually doing blunt damage so it would allow us to get prisoners. And then we could get crossbow as well. Hmm. All right, I think I think we should take the we'll take the militia hammer and how much we got 565. You get the cracked light crossbow and bolts, I think. Okay, um, we're going to need a little bit more money to get a shield before we set out. So let's just equip this stuff. Very good. All right, that's a start. I think we're gonna do another. Uh, hold on, not the tavern. Let's go back to the arena. And let's hop back into another tournament. And let's get going. Okay, we get sword and shield to start. Alright, solid. Okay. Oh. You jerks ganging up on me. You're nothing compared to me. Puny humans. This is the dwarven... The dwarven lands here. This is our turf. Even though we're technically from a land far away, but that's okay. Um, Alright, let's just keep wailing on these guys. Alright. And all the time we're increasing our one-handed skill, so we're getting better with that all the time. There we go. Getting faster at swinging our sword. There we go. There we go. Alright, we got level two. Now let's see. I think. Let's see. I think we should get intelligence, then we get two skill points. And I think we're gonna get athletics up and iron flesh. Just make us better at surviving. Increase our one hander skill. Alright, we got our first level up. Things are going well. Let's look out for this archer. I think the archer, starting with the bow, the bow and arrows is the best start because you can just sit in the corner and snipe guys as they come at you. Um, but for some reason you can't pick up a bow and arrow. You can only pick up the other weapons and shields in the arena, so not sure why that is, but I guess maybe the bow breaks or something when, when you, you get hit holding a bow. I don't know making up lore for why it is that way. Alright, easy. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Look at the arrows sticking out of our shield. There we go. Who's next? You. There we go. Who's next? Come on. 
You will feed my growing ambitions. We need to get that thousand gold, and then we can get a, get a shield for ourselves, and then maybe hire some men. Then we can set out into the wilderness. But right now, we're gonna have to grind up in the arena. There we go. Very nice. Here's a two-hander sword boy. There we go. Okay, let's go get you next. Oh! There we go. Alright. I think we're off to a pretty good start here. We're about halfway done with this one. Oh! I say as I get hit in the face twice. There we go. Trying to come up from behind? Shit. Okay. There we go. There we go. Shit. Someone behind me. Trying to creep up from behind. Alright. Okay. We're not doing so hot here. Okay, let's just be careful. There's only 11 left. God damn it. Alright, so we went down there, but we still beat 24 opponents, so I think we'll get 200 gold for that. And that might actually be enough to buy a shield. So let's take a look. Um, we only have 387. Yeah, we can't afford a shield just yet. This would be really good, a small red one, 18 resistance. This one actually has 31 resistance, but it needs 4 in shield. This one only needs 2. We could use these ones. Um, yeah, one of these would be good to get. Alright, I think we're going to have to go back to the arena one more time. And see if we can get the grand prize. Then we can afford it. Alright, look out for the archer. Sniping from the corner like a little bitch. Let's take this guy out before he hits me. Oh, damn it! Archer getting cheeky hits. Damn it! Shoosh! Man, they're all ganging up on me now. It's not gonna work for them though. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't feel like cheesing quite yet, because I actually do need as much experience as possible. And this is also just going to warm me up for my combat skills in general. Okay, he just sniped that guy down. There we go. Who's next? I don't know if I should just keep using the the pole or if we could take the heavy practice sword. Let's take the heavy practice sword because I think it, it's a slightly slower but does more damage. I think we can two shot them with this. Uh, here's another sword boy. There we go. See, we two shot them. Whew. All right. There we go. Let's put the shield on our back so the archers don't get cheeky shots in our back. It's a nice little, little something extra. Okay. There we go. All right beaten 12, 24 remaining. And this is just what we gotta do at the start. We don't have any other way to make money other than just grind up in the arena. But at least we get a, a good deal of experience as well doing this. Oh wait, hold on. I don't need to command anyone right now. Okay. Okay, let those guys beat each other up. I'll go for this one. There we go. How about you? There we 
go. Man. There we go. There we go. Alright. 17 down, 17 to go. This guy is just ignoring me like an idiot. There we go. Whew. Not even breaking a sweat. Alright, we got an archer. Taking cheeky shots here. Deal with him first. Alright, that guy's gonna attack the archer. Okay. Doing alright, we're doing alright. Oh, we are starting to get a little low on health. Alright, two down. Nine remaining. Okay, let's kind of let them... Let's let them fight fight it out. They tend to gang up on you at the very end, though, so I don't want to... I don't want that to happen. Crap. Okay, five left. Before they gang up on me, let's, uh... Take them out. Okay, oh! Screw you! You're nothing compared to the dwarves! Oh man, so close. Gosh. Oh man. Alright. That was still a good fight. Let's talk to Tournament Master. We get another 200. Let's see if that's enough to buy a shield. Um, let's go here. We have 587. Oh man. Not quite yet. I think we're gonna have to do one more fight in the arena, guys. We're gonna have to do one more battle here. Let's see, I might just try to cheese this one. Okay, we start with a two-hander. Cool. Let's go... Okay, there's actually this thing here. So I think I'm gonna just go up here and let them kind of beat the crap out of each other. And anyone who comes up here, I'll just uh, deal with them. Alright. Skadrick Mudbrew. The dwarf who lost it all, but he's gonna become a great warrior now. Alright, here comes our first guy up the stairs. The stairs of death. Do you dare come up the stair? There we go. Alright, th these will be the stairs of death. Come on. Or unconsciousness, I guess, because we're just knocking people out here. But... There we go. Two more. Yeah, I need this money, so let's just stay here and wait for them. But also, archers are gonna spawn up. Yeah, they're gonna try shooting us, so if we stand here, they can't really hit us. They have to come up the stairs. There we go. Nice. Bodies are piling up. Unconscious warriors. Alright. Catch our breath. And then once we get the gold after this battle, then I think we're gonna set out and try to fight some guys in the field, find some robbers or something to fight, and hopefully then we can get some get some armor maybe prisoners and so on. Yep, they're just beating each other up over there. Looks like this guy dares to approach the stairs. The stairs of death. You dare approach me? Oh, crap. Oh, nice hit. Alright. Lost a bit of health there, but it's all good. Just gotta chill here. If we go over here, though, archers can spawn there in the corner and hit us, so... Just stand on this side, it's all good. Here comes another guy. There we go, come on. There we go. There we go. We've gotten ten so far. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know it's cheesing, but I don't care. We need to get the money, and we can let them beat each other up a little bit right now. Look at all the bodies are building up on the stairs. Okay, here comes our next victim. <laughs> There we go. Double kill. Very nice. Just listen to them wailing on each other. <laughs> okay. 12 beaten, 11 to go. Yep. Do you dare approach the- oh crap, here they come, here they come. Alright, this is the defense of Helm's Deep here, boys. Let's go. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, 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 crap. There's a lot of them. Screw you, pussies. Gosh. Damn it. <laughs> well, our cheese strategy kind of didn't work in the end. We only got 80 arms, <laughs> so maybe we should have uh, fought there a little better. Let's take a look. We only got... Hold on, I think we might have enough. Yeah, we got enough for a shield, though. We still bought the shield, so... Okay, let's take a break from the arena. Let's get our shield equipped. Alright, we don't have any armor, but we do have a melee weapon, a shield, and a crossbow. So that's a good start. Now let's get questing around here for a little bit. What the hell? Why are you guys fighting me? Uh, what the heck? Why are these guys attacking me? Alright, well, I guess I could try to fight them and then uh, run away, but this is not a great start. Oh man, we're gonna have to do our best. Um, I think all these guys have shields too, so the crossbow will be difficult to get any kills on him with. And also in Prisno, they give you this map, so you can actually see where the enemies are, which I find very helpful. I wish that was in some of the other mods in the game. But, uh, there they are. Alright. It's just a, it's a bunch of miners. Alright, well... I don't think we can even hit them with their shields up. What are you guys, deserters or something? I thought they were just village farmers, and then they attacked me. What the hell, man? If I get even a single kill, I'll be impressed. If I shoot him in the legs... Oh man, this sucks. Alright, well we knocked one out. Keep backing away. Oh my god. Alright, we got two. There's not much I can do here. Yeah. Well, we got two. That was better than I was hoping for. Alright, apparently I can charge them again, but there's almost no point in doing this. I'm just scared that once they capture me, I'm gonna lose, like, my shield or my crossbow or something. And then I have to buy- like, I just spent so much gold on this, dude. What the hell? Alright, whatever, let's- Let's just see if we can, uh, make a bold stand here. Let's climb this hill. And just shoot at them from there. At least our athletic skill is decent to start with, so we move fairly quickly. Right, where are they? Hmm. I feel like they're on the other side of that hill. There they are, okay. Right, let's just take some pot shots. This isn't probably going to do much. Oh 
Oh man, look at them all. I don't know why I'm even fighting them, but... At least we maybe get some experience if we get a kill or two. There's a hit. Okay. Blocks it. Oh! Oh god, oh! There's no hope. There's no <laughs> zero hope. Alright. We got taken prisoner, and of course we lost the freaking shield. <laughs> well, this is a difficult start to this run, but uh, we're gonna have to work hard to improve ourselves. Man, that sucks. Peasant rebels. God damn it. I thought they were just farmers. That's why you gotta hover over them to check. Alright, you know what? Let's see. See, like, look at these. These are village farmers. They look exactly the same. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Let's just go to Karnoth. Let's do another... We're gonna have to go back to the arena. There is a tournament here, but that's gonna have, like, really strong guys in it. And I am just not cut out for that, so... Alright, no more cheesing this time. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna fight it out and we're gonna try to win this time. Come on, there we go. I knew you were behind me. There we go. Okay, let's get the, uh, practice sword. As it's quite strong. There we go. Alright. Man, lots of arena fighting, this is, but this is just the start. We're gonna get into more battles and so on later. Hopefully in this episode, but if this goes on too long, then I'll just have to do that in the next one. Look at those glittery things up there. Alright, where are they? On the other side here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, should we pick up the practice shield? Put it on our back. So don't get hit from behind. By a goddamn archer. There we go. Yeah, even if we get 200 orums from this, I really want to get the 1,000 orums, though, because those bastards took our shield. Well, we'll get our revenge on them soon enough. We'll, we'll, we'll find them, unless someone else gets to them first. There we go. There we go. Who's next? <laughs> Come on. Can't stop Skadrick Mudbrew. He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. And he drinks a big a big cup of dwarven coffee and he's off to the races again. Alright, let's go. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I find that if you hit the shield opponents, that usually provokes them to rear back and try to attack. And you can usually just hit them faster than they can block. Okay, good, we got another level up. Let's go ahead and... Mm, agility, I guess. And athletics, we can't increase more. Let's get our power strike up. And I think we're going to start increasing our crossbow skill. I want to be really good with the crossbow because... It's a lot stronger than our melee weapon. There we go, two down there. Only 17 to go. And then we get a thousand gold. There we go. Up oh, another archer. Yikes. There we 
go. Very good. I think it would be pretty cool to do a, like, two-hander with crossbow and two quivers of bolts. Like, for the late game, but that's still a ways off. We're gonna have to work up to that point. But... Okay, oh! Alright. Six to go. I think we got this. We haven't lost that much health, unless they gang up on us and we, we just get swamped. We got this. There we go. We did it. We did it. Got that thousand gold. Very good. Let's talk to Tournament Master. Thousand gold. Need to leave. And let's see. Do they have shields? Yeah, they do. Which one should we get? This one's not bad. Resistance 10. 478. 405. Okay, well, I think we'll get... There's also a hunting crossbow. It's not better than the one we have, though. Let's get the Battered Dwarven Woodman Shield. I think that'll be the one we get. Alright, let's go to the tavern. Let's see if the Dwarven Mercenaries guy's... Yeah, he's here. Okay. Holmius Ale Branch. I'd like to hire some mercenaries. He doesn't have any for hire? What the hell? Alright, well, hopefully next time he does. That kind of sucks. Slighter. Okay. He's a spy working for the ancient Climorian Empire. Uh, well, we're not hiring anyone who, who isn't a dwarf for this for this playthrough. Ransom Broker here, though. Do I join the tournament? I feel like we're just going to get killed in the tournament. So, let's go out to the villages now. Yeah, if we get some troops, we can start fighting deserters and so on. But let's start getting some Kaikoth miners. What is that fight? Village farmers versus deserters, yeah. They're gonna get their butts kicked. Let's just get as many of these uh, Kaikoth miners as we can to start. I don't get why the uh, mercenaries guy didn't have any for hire. That's so weird. But let's keep going. Let's keep building our forces. Yes. Go to all the villages. Okay. Got 13 miners now. Rains grieve. Okay. Alright. Uh, caravan. Okay. More of those guys. Alright, there's the peasant rebels from before. Um, do we dare take them on? They outnumber us slightly. They do outnumber us. Let's get more men. And then we can try to fight those guys. Okay, here they come. I don't have enough money, yeah. I only have one Orum. Do we try taking on the peasant rebels? I don't want to fight them at night, it's very dark. At night. Okay, let's just... Village farmers. Okay, let's see if they attack the village farmers. They're running from peasant rebels. Those guys are gonna attack the villagers. Okay. The villagers might go to Dwalnor, or they might just get attacked here. Okay, I think we're gonna have to fight them. Um, how we doing here? I think we're... How are we doing on health? Full health. We got 20 miners. And there's six farmers and four peasant women here. Okay, let's go to help them. Uh, rush to the aid of the village farmers. We have 31. Alright, men, we outnumber them. Alright, everyone follow me. Or, uh, hold on. Follow me. Let's get up on a hill. Really big hill right there. Fight for the mountains! mountains. Alright. These guys beat me up earlier and took my goddamn shield from me, so today we we claim our revenge upon them. Alright, everyone hold here. I think this this hill should be fine. Everybody just stay here. 
Alright, they'll be coming over that hill any second now. Here they come, boys. Alright. Let's see if we get some shots on them. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get some shots on them here. Wish we had some more ranged troops. Or just better troops in general would be nice. Alright, I think the farmers are throwing some shit at them. Some rocks and so on. Everyone charge! Alright, headshot. I'm gonna try to hit them. Got one. Alright. Should be fairly evenly matched. Slightly outnumber them. I don't know if how well we're doing. I've gotten a few so far. Oh man, hit a friendly troop there by accident. Everybody looks the same. It's hard to tell. Alright, there we got a kill there. Alright, good job, good job. I think we're winning. I think we're doing well. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah! We freaking crushed them! Good job, men. Good job, my dwarves. Alright, we lost two. The allies lost six. We killed 26. Awesome. Thank you for your help, sir. No, th no problem. We got a single prisoner, and we got six ready to upgrade. We just don't have the money for it. And we got our freaking dwarf shield back. Let's go! And we got some armor. We'll take that. Take that. Very nice. Okay, 24 to head armor. Nice. Very cool. Alright, that was a good victory. Um, let's go here. Let's sell the prisoner. If the ransom broker is there, there he is. I want to sell all the prisoners. You got 36 for that. And then let's sell this stuff. 477 orums. And let's get some upgrades. Okay, I think we'll just leave it there for now. Um, but this is a good start to the journey, you guys. I'm excited for the rest of this playthrough. We've got a nice little army that we're starting to build here. We got some equipment for our character, Skadrick Mudbrew the Dwarf. And uh, a couple level ups, and in the next one we're going to keep grinding up and hopefully get some better troops. So I hope to catch you there, and thank you so much for watching. Peace.